Hello there everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me at the start of a new campaign. Kind of in the middle of the campaign, which we're playing as a certain double S faction led by a certain Mr. Heinrich that everyone knows and loves. Now, here's a quick thing. Uh, he's giving us quite a few benefits, but his political power gain is hurting us so badly that we're losing political power every day, so... Let's play as a certain poll. Now we're going to lose some benefits here, but at least we get some political power. We've started with the German Civil War, of course, and Deep Warfare. But we'll see what happens. Hopefully we do okay. And hopefully we can go ahead and circle some of these guys here. But the German Civil War, of course. The Bega Krieg has, of course, begun. Now I can't remember if I this on historical or not, but we'll see what happens. The Westland declares neutrality. Shortly after the outbreak of the German Civil War, the Dutch officials and the local administrators pressured the double S Gauleiter to declare a joint neutrality to prevent conflicts in the Netherlands. While reluctant to make such a decision, Henk Feldmeier promised the double S faction to allow the Dutch double S units to fight in exchange for their respect towards Westland neutrality. Feldmeier also allowed the Schutze passage within Westland, but disallowing any form of actual garrisons in order to maintain a neutral facade during the Civil War. For now, it seems that the Westland neutrality is to be respected, but that would only be a temporary matter. Once Westland eliminates its disloyal elements, the double S Gauleiters will surely join us again in fighting the two Bolshevik pretenders of Germany. Westland must not fight. You are still part of us. Now, if you don't know, I didn't know this earlier. If you click on this, you'll play as Westland, so we don't want to do that. You are still part of us. So now we still have everyone else here. We can still do okay. Give them no, literally no space to move around. And yeah, we're only moving in just because it looks like they don't have a lot of territory under their wing right now. So yeah. If we can take as much territory that as possible, that would be delightful. Great. I'll let you guys rep. If we get Bremen and, uh, really Hamburg. If we get Hamburg, that'd be great. Oh, it looks like some people have already fallen apart. Get Hamburg, please. Oh, they're coming in. Oh, that's not good. Go in. Good. If we can take as much territory as fast as possible, that is, like, my battle plan right now, so... We'll see. I'll go here, too. Ooh, we cannot pierce some tanky boys, can we? Which, honestly, makes a lot of sense. Uh, I'm going to have you guys come up here. Take heal. Go all the way up here if we can. Uh, the Slovak Uprising. So be it. Germans crushed in Ukraine, which is quite unfortunate, I would say. I do say so myself. That is quite unfortunate. Ethiopian Uprising. Obviously, our line is going to be pretty bad in some areas because we're using a lot of militia and they're really bad units. So uh, we'll see what happens. We'll do the best we can. But there are, of course, no guarantees for success. Palestine is gone. Goodbye, Palestine. We'll go in here if we possibly can. Um, yeah, I wouldn't worry about that too much, guys. Yeah, hmm. We can actually take these guys out. That'd be great if we could. Now, they are armored. But if we do completely encircle them, there's not much they can really do, right? Of course, we are out of fuel. And we have no, <laughs> nothing to trade with. Okay, then. Uh, do we have anything to trade? Yeah, we do have nothing to trade with. God dang it, that sucks. Um, we're going to stop the attack soon. Even though we do have 8 army XP. Honestly, it's not too bad. What do we got to try to do? Come down here. Do that. If we can encircle an entire tank division, I mean, that'd be just fantastic. Guys, go right here. Seriously, just encircle them. Oh, President Taft dies. Well, okay. Bye, President Taft. I literally didn't even know you, so. At least head into over here. Okay. So, it looks like a lot of this is just falling apart. Um, Honestly, the southern portion is looking pretty good right now. Which is a little surprising to see, but, you know, well, that's okay. I want you all to hold, because we don't have guns. I want you all up here to hold as well. Also in Civil War, very nice. Um, I really wanted to cut off a lot of guys around here, but... Eh, we'll see. Go oh, there goes Israel. Goodbye, Israel. Goodbye. And let the militia try to beat up other militia divisions. That's fine with us. You're kind of losing here, so we don't want you to move. Um, over here is kind of okay, though. Eh, maybe not. They're starting to lose, too, so... It's alright. Trujillo overthrown. Alrighty tidy. Do that, and I want you to do that too. So, uh, because I've already split these guys up into different little appropriate groups here. Um, Sepp Dietrich, you shall lead this group here. You don't have enough command power for us to do anything there, but that's okay. So, you know what? Just put everyone over here so we can strike this tank division together and encircle guys. A fascist coup in Hungary. Very cool. Very, very cool. Let's have an uprising. This Don Slavs. Which. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. If you know anything about Thousand Week Reich, we're going to have some issues of our own very soon, probably as well. So we should be able to win here pretty easily. We're out of so many things, which is so bad. Give us some time. The Ukrainians have a war, so be it. Whatever. We don't really care right now. We have bigger things to deal with. Because of certain Heinrich. Well, oh, they actually attacked us there. Which severely weakened their tank divisions, hopefully. Hopefully. I want you. Oh, if I could force the attack, that'd be great. Why can we not win there? We can't pierce them? Wait, how. how 
Hold on. Hold the phone. Why are we getting defeated here? Why are we doing unrestricted submarine warfare? Of course, this is a lot of what the AI set up, like when I tabbed over here. Um, this is not bad. Some more decryption. Just hold the line for now. Hold the line. Some more encryption as well. Because they're going to be attacking kind of crazily in some of these spots, which is going to be bad for us. So, what are our losses? Wow, 15,000 versus 90,000? It's not as good as I would have liked it to have been so far. Are these guys actually attacking us here? Because I don't want to, like, attack and just attack. To attack for the sake of attacking. What I want to do is have encirclements. Which is why I want to attack here pretty badly. So we can encircle these divisions and get rid of them. Do not let them move. Do not let them move. Come on, take Magdeburg. We got it. We have circled an IFV division. Ah, the Danish Revolution. The uh, Panzer Grenadier Division. And a couple of these guys too, which is pretty darn nice, not gonna lie. The goal is encirclements. Nothing more, nothing less. Rush over here so we can defend ourselves. Hopefully these guys don't attack us too. Yeah. Deep warfare. Even though we get nothing from it. Dig or die, so we get some more entrenchment, which is I think is very, very good. Uh, overall, not not bad. We're actually holding off pretty darn nicely. Of course, these guys don't have a lot of strength either, but if we can come over here and help defend over a river, that'd be probably quite bueno, I would say. And push over. If we can, go all with the Rostock to delete three more enemy divisions, because that'd be great. And we can't do that. Okay. Let them attack us first. See where they're going to be the weakest. And where they're going to attack us next. Oh, they want to attack us here. I don't mind that, maybe. Of course, it doesn't help that we have no fuel. So, let's go figure. Go in if you can. Begin the assault if you possibly can as well. So we concentrate all our tanks in this one little army. Uh, go with that one. There you go. Make sure Sep uh, is offensive as well. You just, just more attack. We gotta be careful with our soldiers. There's only so many of them. Nice. A bunker coup in Spain. Shocking, shocking, shocking. Nice. So where else are they attacking? They like attacking down here a little bit, and we kind of like attacking them too. All right, there goes another group. Hopefully, we can reconquer them. I don't know what's going to happen in the future, but you know what? I I have high hopes for Hadrish. Hadrish, I mean, uh, Himmler, 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 yeah, Himli. Also, we do have the modifiers down here too, like leadership distrust, which is really bad. So, actually, we don't have Ber Germania, not Berlin, Germania yet. Yeah, things are not going to go very well for us. Are these guys cut off? That'd be so good if we cut them off. Actually, you know what? Screw it. We're going to cut these guys off. Send all tanks down here. Because if we can get to this, we can cut off all these divisions and then still have to fight these guys, which would be great, but still wouldn't, wouldn't be too bad. Still. And we're getting some political power too, which is super good. Uh, gives you more stability. We could really use some stability, man. I might want to wait a little bit longer. Just a little bit more. There we go. Let's hurry up. I know you have no fuel. Tanks. Even though I would love to attack here. I kind of just want to wait for them to attack us. Now, waiting for them probably is a bad idea, because I do know that some certain elements might rise up against us eventually, but it is what it is. God, I want to trade for stuff. Please, let's trade for fuel. Oh, come on, don't let them reinforce that area. Actually, you guys could probably just get that crew right now. Oh, they sent in the tanks there. God dang it. Dig or die. Uh, volunteer army. We don't really need, honestly, any more manpower, but whatever. Now they're attacking up here since we left. God dang it. You pieces of garbage. Go into here. They want to attack us? Well, we'll attack them right back. Nice. Take that towel, which was, wasn't exactly what I was planning on us doing, but if we can attack these guys too, that'd be great. How are you not winning there? I seriously don't understand some of these divisions, man. They're not that weak. It's Oh, Bohemian State of Emergency. Bohemia, with a unique status among metropolitan Germany, has also tired of the civil war ravaging their lands. A peaceful gathering held by German citizens in Prague called for all sides of the civil war to unite as one and settle their differences for the greater good of Germany. The gathering turned into a march as ever more bystanders joined. The march turned into a protest, demanding the governor, uh, government of Germany and the, and, and the civil war in form. The Bohemian government declared a state of emergency, with all security forces not already involved elsewhere being summoned, and they're waiting for the signal. Huh. Unrestricted warfare. Uh, fuel reserves would be nice. Uh, got the fuel. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's so good. Actually, do stuff, maybe. So we're here. They're going to att come attack us. Um, Really, this is the best style to attack right now. We have a little bit of fuel. We might as well use it to our advantage. Cut these guys off in the south as much as possible. There we go. We've got them. Um, really, I just want to crush these guys in the south. Crush them all in the south. This way, even if they get a little bit of supply, they still can't do very much. Attack them in reserve. 
in return. Army interoperability. It's more a lot more of that stuff, which is nice. You honestly should be able to win right there. Shoot stuff. Schism. As the war drags on, the collective trust placed on Heinrich Himmler is fading considerably. On the surface, officers appear to be united under the SS banner, but rumors of a brewing plot against Himmler have appeared. While these rumors are nothing but bare bones accusations, a threat is certainly growing within Himmler's faction. These are just rumors. Now, is there any way we can get rid of these rumors? That'd be great. Um, honestly, like, I just want us to focus down here. Like, focus on these guys and just crush them if we possibly can. Kill them all off. Now, these guys are going to be a little more difficult to take out, but that's fine. Prague Uprising. The state of emergency in Bohemia has backfired. People in Prague and across Bohemia held true to the beliefs that the civil war must be stopped and the oppressive regime be overthrown. And little did the uh, political officials know, the Czechs have reached their breaking point. Just minutes before dawn, a local military police patrol was ambushed by a band of resistance fighters in Prague and suffered annihilation. Like clockwork, resistance cells around the city have armed themselves and risen up with blood and iron. Chanting in both Czech and German, many in Bohemia are now united with the common goal of ending the suffering with one last wave of bloodshed. Oh, Czechs. Oh, the Chucky Chucky Chucks. Ah, the Prague Uprising. Now, we don't have to deal with that. Which I'm glad we're not over there yet, so. Little guys move around just a wee bit. Do we have any... No factories yet. Okay. Just go in here. Go in here immediately, too. If you possibly can. That'd be great if you could. But we'll see what happens. <coughs> The Swiss Revolt. Since the death of Adolf Hitler, the Swiss have been ever emboldened and now declared an open rebellion, with weapons hidden in bunkers in the Alps. Entire armies have appeared to face us. The Swiss uprising has begun. No democracy in Switzerland, huh? Well, if that's the case, well, then everything else here has to wait just a wee bit. Let's go. Head on over there, my friends. That's so nice having some sort of fuel here. Uh, just in case, do something like that. There you go. Oh, did they, did they push us out? No. Alright, let these guys have their own little time here. Get our guys all over here just in case. The volunteer army is very good. Now we can do SS Volkstrup, which I personally would like to do, even though we lose attack and get some Volksgrin ideas. But emergency response just seems like a better idea. Get more attack, get more defense, reinforce rate, less planning speed, minimum training levels, and Reich's Mills. I would love to hold the line. Destruction itself, which sounds like something, yeah, that we should do just in case. Uh, so we're going to go with emergency response first. You guys could probably attack and win, right? Yeah, you're good. Paul Hauser. Um, go with recovery rate, right? that's fine. Down the Swiss. There you go. Well, we got took Basil. Can we actually win against these guys? That'd be great if we could. Force the attack. Benelux general strike. A well-coordinated general strike has occurred in Benelux regions. This incident seems to be the work of a local leftist partisan groups, but the scale of its raises doubts. The local authorities launched a brief investigation during the beginnings of the attempted crackdown, which has led to the discovery of a major underground resistance network spanning from the Netherlands to Luxembourg, covering the entire Low Countries region. Law enforcement are now rushing to crack down full and crush this threatening organization. If we can beat these guys uh, fast enough, we can do really well here. The Vevo is bad conspiracy. Secret investigators, or investigations ordered by Himmler, have revealed that those most worrying rumors are correct. The so-called Vevo's bad conspiracy reveals that a considerable amount of Schutzstaffel in a so-called members have formed packs and drafted plans to drag Himmler down from the position of leader. Due to the lack of information on the full list of members in this conspiracy on top of the secrecy of the investigation, Himmler cannot attempt a purge to break this conspiracy until a rightful cause surfaces. Don't, I guess we can only wait. If we can move fast enough and destroy these guys, I would love it so much. The Belgian Revolution. Under the banner of the Benelux, Belgian resistance groups have temporarily set aside their differences and launched a full revolt. They were able to secure a sizable amount of support from the locals, with the Benelux resistance urging the Dutch and Luxembourgers to rise up against the Nazi tyranny. German control of the Benelux region is lost, and further uprisings are to be expected within days. Kill those false Germans. The ball rolls. Come on, boys and girls, we got, we can't. The Mediterranean Union, that's nice. Uh, I'm gonna have you guys come over here. If we can get Zurich, I think that's their capital. So we should be able to do well against those guys. Come on, please, 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 please. I know we're out of fuel, god dang it. But still. Do that one, and... Nothing on the right side we can really do. Oh, this is a mess. And if, if it doesn't go well for us, then I'm going to do some cons command stuff, because I, I don't want it, us to fail here, so... You should be able to beat these guys up. Come on, they're literally just militia. They're literally just militia. Because we don't have time to pal around here, you ding says. Because I... Do not have divisions to spare right now. Force the attack. 
go in, kill them, and here come those guys. We got a few more days. Oh! The Zinsis group is gone. I mean, obviously, we should give it to them, but I'm not going to give it to them because we can. Thank you. Oh, wait, what? Oh, whatever. I don't really care. Kill those false Germans, huh? Zero days left, huh? Well, it took Zurich, so they should be capitulated then, right? That only makes sense. The Wevelsburg Conference. Reliable reports suggest that the members of the Wevelsburg Conspiracy are planning a meeting in the Schutzstaffel HQ within the upcoming weeks. With reliable informants reporting that they will invite Himmler himself to attend in order to discuss matters related to the current state of affairs. What? A meeting? How can you not win here? I get it, you're out of fuel. And I know it's mountains, but still. Okay, so they don't capitulate? I don't understand this then. Guys, go in. I'm about ready to launch a full-scale attack against... Do we actually win here? Well, in some areas, no. Actually, in almost every area, we cannot, so... Um, you guys can probably just go and group up here, though. That's fine for you guys. They seem pretty weak right there, which is pretty good for us. Um, go right here, and you go right here. An invitation? A secret letter has been sent to Heinrich Himmler, inviting him to attend the conference planned by the Wevelsburg conspirators. Loyalist advises urge Himmler to ignore this invitation, suggesting that this might be the end of Himmler's reign as Reichsführer SS, however. If Himmler were to attend, he might be able to resolve the schism himself and solidify his rule in time to crisis. Attend the meeting. If we treat as legitimate, ignore the Swiss quest. If Himmler is removed from power during the meeting, it would be treated as legitimate. Hmm... I'm gonna ignore it. Let's see what happens if we ignore it. People can still, like, assassinate us anyways if they wanted to, really. Um. Yeah, you guys aren't looking too bad right there, actually. You know, I was hoping that we taking out more territory that we would actually be able to do something here. Like, and by do something, I mean, like, get more factories? Oh, there goes the whole thing. Seriously? So, you have no capital. Oh, wait, how did you get Zero back? What? How the hell do they get Zurich back? That literally makes no sense. Emergency response. Defense militias, of course. Please and thank you. What? You know, let these other guys deal with it. Ooh, did anyone rise up against us? No, hopefully not. Oh my goodness, they are getting a little rambunctious by attacking. Okay, so he's been assassinated. So there's this one. At noon, three Judeo-Bolsheviks dressed in SS uniforms burst into Himmler's office and shot him for at least 11 times, ending his life in a swift motion. Well, these are the official reports on Himmler's cause of death, the real cause of Himmler's death seems to be highly suspicious. Meanwhile, the Schutzstaffel High Command hastily organized a secret funeral, one that lasted only for a few hours, followed by a brief public mourning period. Regardless, the future of the Schutzstaffel is uncertain and political chaos ensued. What, a funeral? Th that quick? So now we're led by nobody, but I want to see if we can maybe get him back and keep him in power. The Wevelsberg plot, a group of Schutzstaffel officers welcomed Himmler to the meeting. However, the true intentions of this meeting were revealed when the meeting room was placed under lockdown by SS soldiers loyal to the Wevelsberg conspirators. Himmler is now forced to take part in an upcoming event that would determine his leadership's fate. What? But anyways, we are here on January 1st, 1954, in which we had Germany's inner attack and, well, the emergency Wehrstadt is doing quite well. Of course, they're out of fuel just like us, and they got a ton of divisions, and we're still holding here in, uh, what was Switzerland at one point. Oh, are we losing here now? Oh, that kind of sucks. I don't want to lose too many tanks, since we can't really replace them that well. For the love of God, why are you moving? Stay here, son. Stay here. Uh, we cannot afford to lose Zurich. These guys are about to die, which is good and, well, bad for us, just because we won't have as many soldiers to commit to, well, they'll be, they'll, they'll be able to commit more soldiers against in the fight against us, which is... Probably not going to go that great for us. But if we get Nuremberg, that'd be great to hold on to because we need those military factories. 100%. I hope no one else rises up against us because we can't really afford people to rise up against us right now, which uh, kind of sucks, to be honest. But it is what it is. I do want to kill these guys. Maybe I should not move my tanks to that direction, but whatever. Um, that's the case. Move you guys back all over here, please. Please, please, please. Go and resettle there. And... Okay, not bad. Himmler arrested. Oh. Huh. Wait, is there no way to keep him in power? After a heated debate, it's finally been decided that Himmler will be removed from power. The former Reichsführer SS was forced to write an official letter of resignation and be placed under immediate house arrest. The majority of the SS officers seem to be unfazed by the sudden event and has pledged loyalty to the new administration. What is going on? Why? Why can't we keep him in power? My friends, why? Himmler has now been removed. Strange. 
Is it possible to get him back? Or is it only possible to get him and just, like, cheat to do... Uh, to, to win the war. Is that the only way we can do stuff? Living political crisis, leadership, distrust. Peace timer, huh? Oh, we actually do have a peace timer with them, huh? Alright, that's interesting. Oh, like I said, maybe I said it earlier, maybe I didn't. Um, I don't know how this is going to turn out, so... This is my first time doing it, but if you know in the comments below how this is going to turn out, please let me know in the comments below. Uh, oh, please don't lose, guys. Please don't lose. I would like to attack here and so I can so kill them all off, but... Time will tell. Uh, they are attacking us quite a bit, which I do not mind, honestly. Because if we could, I'd like to do that and go to Rostock. The new Rock Sphere SS. With the removal of Himmler, more minor elements of the SS remain discontent. The leadership has largely agreed to take a stance for unity in the SS faction, agreeing to pick a new Reichsfuhr SS amongst the powerful figureheads. Lammers. Hmm. Baron of Terror. Ooh, you know, as much as I really actually wanted to play as, uh, Heinrich Himmler, if I can get Big Daddy back, sorry, Gotenland, but we need Heydrich. You can have Frauenfeld. Oh, Mr. Handsome, it's been so soon. So soon, man. So soon. But we'll go with old equipment next, because we definitely need it, so. I hope we can win over here. It says we can. I don't trust these guys saying that we can. So, if we do that... I'm going to double... We could actually do that. Can you guys actually go in there? Can you guys actually win there? For the love of God, please be able to win. What if we just force the attack? Screw it, force the attack. Screw it, you're leaving this area too. You're going to come through Zurich. we got to win here now. The moderate's cool. Under new leadership, so be it. Encryption is good. And I'm getting all this stuff just because it literally helps out in combat. Wait, how are you losing? And now we have defense militias and old equipment. Because, my god, we're going to need these guys here. Actually, you know what? Come to the line down here. How are you not winning here with two tank divisions with force attack? It literally does not make any sense. Unless you're doing force defense as well. I need you guys here now. I need you guys to go back in. You're not going to stop the attack. Because we got to crush these guys right flipping now. You're going in right here, right here. You're literally not allowed to give up right now. Alright, go in. Everyone goes in. Go in. You better get in there. Oh, you pieces of the guard. You're all gonna die. You're literally all just gonna die right now. I should have not sent my tanks this way. Oh my goodness. This is so bad. Yeah, our, our tanks divisions are basically dead. Yeah, this is stupid. How are these guys not suffering any sort of attrition fighting and defending the mountains? Our tanks are literally dying because of this, but whatever. We'll win no matter what. I promise you that. Uh, if I knew it was going to be this crappy doing this, I probably wouldn't have done it, but whatever. So, but no. Both of you get over here right now. You guys keep these guys, but I will sacrifice these tanks if need be. I will literally sacrifice them if we have to. Because uh, that's crap. That's complete crap, man. Still doing that stuff. It is 54. Grab some of that as well. Look at those guys. How's the front line doing? Well, we're still holding out pretty well. I will consolidate tanks if we need to. You're not, you're not leaving. You're literally not leaving. You're going to force the attack and kill them off, or you're going to die trying. And now we got encircled. Are you kidding me? Guys, go in. I, I literally don't care if you win or if you die. I literally don't. Um, For 1950 stuff, grab some of that. That'd be good. Go here. They will die, or we will die. Either option. You have literally 27 days. We've taken all the major cities, and they're still not giving up. I do not understand this. Nothing else there? Come on. Keep moving. I know it's mountains. I know sending tanks into mountains is a bad idea. But at the same time, they're literally just guys with guns. With a completely inexperienced group of resistance soldiers. Old equipment is good. And more old equipment. We lose some stability, but what is 0% stability? Treaty of Honolulu? Well, good for them, I guess. How are they not dead yet? Literally. We've killed off the entire tank core. Just to kill these guys off. That's stupid. That is insanely stupid. But, you guys did okay. I wish you could merge units. Um, so I'll go right there. And, yeah, you guys are looking pretty bad. Well, we got them, so they should be fully under us for the rest of the entire game, I hope. Seriously, how to keep Hadrish? Uh, how can I merge these guys together? I'd rather just... Eh, we'll probably just delete some of these. Can we actually them? Uh, let's get rid of that one. And this one. So we can actually stock up a little bit more. Make these guys a little bit slightly stronger. Um, and also, we got to fo focus on these guys. 
I don't want the northern group to fall apart too much yet. Just because, well, these guys will be too strong then. No, that's not very good. We have 67 divisions. Not bad. We've taken a crap ton of casualties, but casualties aren't really my concern right now. Well, we did that one. Leadership distrust. Escalations of tensions. Looming political crisis. Well, I don't really care. There's nothing you can really do about that. Go in. You should, yeah, just be able to just wipe them out immediately. Because I do want to get Munich, so... Everyone's super weak. And how do we not have a single city? Like, why is the consumer goods so bad? Now, keep Munich, because that should help us with our civvies, right? Actually, is it possible to... Yeah, it is technically possible. And circle these divisions down here if we possibly can. Or go half of you guys and say goodbye. Just make you guys a little bit stronger. And since we have that, no, no. Yeah, we're just missing so much. Would it be possible for you to get down here? Would it be possible for you to get over here? Would it be possible for you guys just to help support the attack? That's all I want. Just support the attack. Nothing more, nothing less. Innsbruck would be get good to get. Nice. Come on. I want you to hold. You should be able to win. Come on. Good. This helps out with combat. Sheet metal receivers are very good as well. Grab... Uh, we actually have no planes right now, so that won't even matter too much. That's all artillery stuff we can do for now. Drop tanks a little bit ahead of time. Uh, get some better uh, tank stuff. Why not? Go! They're surrounded. Kill them off. Nice. There you go. That's what we like to see. And now I hope to God that no one else rises up. We have no, no tank divisions. Jesus Christ, it's so bad. The Congo conflict. Good job, Africa. Killing yourselves off. <clears throat> Unrestricted warfare, huh? Uh, second inter-party government. Uh, that's not bad. Algamine SS. I don't, that's a lot of attack and defense. But at this point, we can't do just general attacks. We have to be very focused with our attacks. Use more equipment. And now uh, control the skies. Actually, for this stuff. We need more than 10% surrender progress, which is... Which I don't think I like that at all. I think that's... I don't think that's really smart to do. But I guess we'll control the skies, because that's all we have left to do. So... Alright. Confiscate civilian, civilian vehicles. We have no political power... Or no... Stability anyway, so might as well do that. Confiscate medical supplies, might as well do that. Unrestricted warfare, I don't want to lose any of that stuff for any day, that's not bad. We'll use that when we're ready to really do a real push. That's pretty much right now. Alright, sounds good. I need you guys to push that way, I need you guys to follow up as well. Nice. Go in, good. Let the militia division division leave first. Because I need ah, that's good, we're going in anyways. Go in. I want to circle that, that tank division. If we, we can encircle that. Circle it, it. That would be great. Come on. Come on, baby boys. We can do it. Yes, we've got it. Seriously, is there no way to get, get Hadrish back? Because I want Hadrish. Or not Hadrish. Himmler, I mean. Himmler, Himmler, Himmler. Which is weird to say. I'm a sucker for Hadrish. But even... I want to play as Himmler sometimes. Like, we're not playing as a gamer-in-chief. Are we really gaming? Oh, well, we're gaming with Hadrish. Hadrish was just so efficient. I'm not going to say you departed from this world too soon, but... But... We're going to use these tanks as a suicide... Well, basically, I have been using them as a suicide squad already, so what do you expect? Alright, and we got them! Hello, another encirclement! You're not leaving any day soon. Goodbye! Beat up that armor! If they punch through us, that's unfortunate, but whatever. Yeah, well, these guys really weak, and we did quite a number, quite a bit of damage to them. Oh my gosh, we did a lot of damage to them. But uh, yeah, these emergency valve. How 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 strong is the emergency valve? Spidel? What happened to Monstein? German Civil War. Oh, they didn't want deep battle, huh? Defense militias, huh? Oh, don't tell me you can actually nuke yourselves. Um, God, I hate fighting to this part of Austria, or the part of the Reich. I guess technically it's not part of Austria. You know what, we'll come down here and push through here if we possibly can. We actually have a little bit of fuel. Look at that. We actually have fuel. What type of world do we live in where we actually have fuel? Uh, get some maintenance companies. We have nothing. <laughs> we have nothing. I want to throw on some, like, maintenance companies for our tanks, but... I don't think we really can do that, man. Can I convert these divisions? No, we can't. God dang, that sucks. Uh, I'll be honest here. We need to 
push over the river as fast as possible. So if he can, thank you, tanks. Hold for now. They're going to attack us like crazy, but hopefully we can hold out. All I, uh oh, North Sea Naval exercises. Oh, crap. Did I not leave this on... Ooh, that's not good. Actually, pushing them over the river might be the best idea right now. It is 54. I mean, we're doing pretty darn well, I'll be honest. Like, we're doing really darn well. I really don't remember if I... Hmm. Hmm. Just to make sure we have enough divisions here to hold, hold the line. I don't think we have enough strength to do this, do we? These guys are looking real... Uh, maybe we do. Hold on. Hold the phone. Hold the phone. Because we really need to hold on to this territory so we can push over the river. So we can make another encirclement of an entire tank division. Alright, they're attacking us. Time to push in, too. Nice. Go in. What matters is we kill this tank division off right now. Awesome. The anti-war movements, with the government seemingly growing weaker and weaker by the day and unable to continue the total political control it once held over the nation, the previously weak anti-establishment movements seem to be gaining more and more traction. Groups of anti-Nazi activists, formed by disgruntled Germans, are growing in confidence all across the Reich. And with the Nazi government finding the crackdowns to be harder and harder, the so-called German United Front, a collective of several resistance groups have organized into a massive anti-war and anti-Nazi movement centered in Germania. When local police forces were summoned to the protests as first responders, they were given permission to open fire, however. They refused to, allow fo to follow orders and the government was forced to relocate a brigade of militia guards to handle the situation instead. With the militia in position, they are ready for the a signal. Under gunpoint, the rebels are standing firm. That's why I chose not to take Germania yet. Because we all know some things are going to kick off a blazing. Nice, that's good right there. That's good. Good stuff, man. Good stuff. Um, Really, I wanted to race to Vienna. The other end, these guys... Ooh, we're fighting close to Prague as well. These guys are all going to die soon, hopefully. Um... God, I hate fighting over the rivers. This is why I literally wanted to push this way. You know what? We're going to get out of the river area. We're going to push down here. A uh, German revolution, like every other uprising before. It started off with a bang. Or a brief peace peaceful period, but with bad decisions and Nazi government inevitably deciding to stamp down brutally on the dissenters. The revolution has been sparked. The Nazi brainwashing machine crafted by Goebbels has failed in times of hardships and neighborhoods fell, one by one across the city of Germania. A majority of the locals successfully forced the government to relocate and have secured weapons from military police depots. And after a few days, the German United Front proclaimed the People's Republic, or People's Germany, with the capital located in the now rebel-controlled Germania. With the hearts of Nazi pride, controlled by anti-Nazi German revolutionaries, it's clear the civil war has reached its climax, and the fate of Germany must be decided sooner or later. That sucks. Oh well. With no stability anyways, we must keep doing that, right? Eh, that's alright. Leadership distrust. Will we just continuously uh, cycle through like different leaders for our guys here? Is that what it basically means here? Control the skies are nice. Uh, what else do we have after that one? Emergency plane assembly? Oh, that's not bad. A thousand planes actually is pretty nice. High command affection. Crap. Surprisingly, while the fate of the people's Germany seemed to be set in stone for most Germans, that thought did not stop certain generals within the Heer and government factions did affect. Notably, General Johann von Kegelsmannsegg, Ulrich de Mazier, and Erich Fe Felgebel, a high-ranking defector to the people's Germany. This has shaken the Nazi successor regimes of the core, and some were questioning if these men are defected for the righteous cause. Traitors all of them, and... Oh, this one too. Oh, we got it twice. Okay, well, whatever. I don't really care then. Okay, th thrice, thrice. Traitors, all of them. They're so traitorous, we heard them a third time. What is going on here? I'll get you over here, too. We have no fuel, so we gotta stop moving so for a little part of this, but whatever. Nice. Post-war suspensions. Grab some APC stuff, too. Nice. Um, what is this? Uh, yeah, that sounds like a really good idea for us right now. My goodness, if we could just get down here and encircle all these guys. Oh, I would love it. Oh, I would lo so love it. But we have Salzburg. Oh, I can't even produce anything yet. God dang it. Now they are attacking us a little bit more. Come on, baby boys. Come on. Just a little bit more. God dang it. They're staffing these guys down here. God dang it. we got to be careful with what soldiers we have down here, too. So, um, we got to probably attack the air and do well. When in doubt, when you can't get a, uh, a complete encirclement, you do the best you can. Let these tanks move out, because then clipping these militia divisions should be pretty darn easy. Small coordinated attacks. To encircle them. And come on, baby boys. Oh, we got them. There you go. No room for them. Oh, look, their capital's not effort. Oh, they literally just kicked out of there, huh? So these guys are okay. These guys up here are going to be starving. Which is, you know what? 
I don't want to do anything yet, just because I want them alive, so it's a little more difficult for our enemies to do well there. Yeah, you guys gotta move around. Alright, if you want to attack, I guess we're gonna attack as well. Transvolga? Oh, they're actually pushing us in, huh? Hold on, hold on. How, why are you attacking us? You have little Germania under fire right now. Get the armor in there again. Oh man, they are trying some desperate attacks. Why are they not attacking these guys? I do not understand, my friends. But, I do understand this. Maybe, maybe not. Decryption? Nice. Uh, grab that, because you can. Alright, so maybe not. Trying to sign a white piece, alright. Good. So those are mountains, and we want to avoid those areas right now. Um, Do not let us get pushed back. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's keep doing that. Emergency plane assembly. Uh, tactical carpet bombings. Um, honestly, we lose 0.2 political power, 20% more political power every day, which I think is god awful. So, and we don't have any planes, so there's literally no point to do that. So, we're not going to do that one. We're just going to collect political power from here on out because we have minus 1,000. Go figure. Really, just go figure. Why are you attacking us? I, don't, not, I do not understand why. Oh, the GGR is about to die. That sucks. I want these guys to die more, though. And there goes people's Germany. I just want you to hang out and hold on. These guys are really trying to push us out. Bolshevik scum. How are you not able to win there? Ah, I forgot. Of course, then we have no we have no planes either, so what's the point of doing this? I mean, it can give you 200 each. It's not like it's going to do very much for us with no, no, you know, fuel, but... I thought it would fuel for a little bit there earlier, I mean, and it wasn't even just like the... normal stuff either. Hmm. I hope these guys are enjoying themselves right now. Uh, because they are hopefully killing off literally all the equipment, just like us, so... Leadership Distrust. I'm not sure how he's supposed to win this. Is it possible to actually win this at all? Because if... It doesn't seem like it, it really is. Four companies. Grab some of that too. How are you supposed to win this within a certain amount of days? That's something I really just do not understand. Maintenance companies. Military police. Uh, logistics as you can. Alright. I don't know where they're getting all this equipment from, but it's kind of insane. We might be able to take Rush, I can still do okay here. How can you not win here when they've been attacking us like crazy? I literally don't understand. I mean, our guys aren't that strong either, but neither are theirs. I do want to attack here. We could try it. I mean, they have got to have, like, no armor, right? I'm I'm afraid that if we take Roshuk, they will literally capitulate. So, we need more factories. We need we need factories just in general. Like holy crap, we do we need factories? So, uh, hopefully we. Oh hello. Well, that's not good. That's really not good. I'm hoping that these guys have attacked so hard that they literally can't replace any of the damage they're doing to themselves. Um, nothing really there. How about you guys? No, nothing there either. That sucks. Yeah, they're doing a... They're trying to do a lot of damage. You guys hold on for now. Because, God, this Civil War sucks. It's This is definitely worse, in my opinion, than the German Civil War in TNO. This is definitely worse. This is, uh, in TNO, it's, it's easy to win a war. If you know what you're doing. With this one, I guess I don't know... I know what I'm doing. It's just... It's not just not as much fun as one in... Um... Yeah, we'll do it one more time for that one. It's just not as much fun as one TNO. I hope this does not capitulate, you guys. Because if we can take one more place, can we get some like consumer goods, please? Rush duck. Oh, don't get me wrong. We got a lot of green here, which I love, love, love. Okay, so we got that. Oh, we don't have enough. 
flipping factories. We're doing better on guns, though. Good. Once we were in there, we're going to attack here, too. Alright, well, I guess we're attacking here anyways. Nice. This is... Not great. Good. Russia's reforming itself for now, which is whatever. Kill them off. God, I wish we hopefully become a scavenger someday. That'd probably be smart to do or be. Um, it's only 55, so grab, go ahead and grab some more factories. We, we just need more factories. Or something like that. Um, grab that as well. And grab better base. Because God knows we love base here. We're going to attack this way. Mm. Yeah, attacking that area would be completely worth this. I'm going to attack here. Attack close-ish to the mountains-ish. Alright, they're attacking. These guys are weak enough. We should be able to win here. We might, we're probably going to lose Salzburg, but if we take this out, I wouldn't feel too bad about that. Help them out. Help them out. There you go. There you go. Anything else? Yes. More confiscations, good. Nice. Hold for now. <clears throat> Man, they are really trying hard to get us out of here. Holy crap. Honestly, at this point, we're going to push in here. Maybe if we can. Oh, there's really no place, good place to do it. These guys are going to... Ah, screw it. Take them up here. Just, it, it's a two-way civil war at this point. You might be able to win here like this. Maybe. Oh, it's definitely maybe. A-spot. Oh, actually, I have A-spot. Look at that, huh? Help him out. Yeah, that'll be good. So it's 1v1. Fighting a river sucks. Boy, does it suck. That's all right. That's the last tile that they're going to be able to get and use. My God, this looks so bad. I don't know how they can keep this up. I really don't. How? How? Logistics two. I'll grab some military police because he can. Oh God, are they actually attacking us now? So bad. Um, head into here too. There you go. Hold. Oh, yeah, that's not too bad. Now it's kind of okay ish. How do we not have it? Okay, we've got more than enough equipment for this. So, uh, for these divisions that I actually wanted to, for us to train, uh, these are guys I wanted to use. These are actually looking pretty good already, actually. Huh. Are we using anybody in the field that we are currently here? I'm not really sure. Cavalry, these guys. Cavalry, infantry. Can I cover any of you? You guys are all these guys. 18 combo width, SS motorized, SS infantry. What happens if I threw on some maintenance, maybe some recon? Would we be able to do that? Here's some recon as well. We don't have enough of that. Would that hurt us a little bit? Not too much. Motorized ain't too bad. What do we be able to attack up here? They do have a tank division, but they're probably pretty tanky as well. I mean, that's what tanks are for, I guess being tanky. This is a cancer in the middle here. Okay, so we fought for that tile. Jesus Christ, this is insanely bad. What are we supposed to do about looming political crisis? Leadership distrust? Congratulations, no one cares. Oh, are these guys pushing out? Oh, let them push out, yes. We've lost 100,000. These guys have lost so many. We've killed off two-thirds of a million in total. Just... Why civil wars are so damaging, man. So damaging. All right. I don't mind taking effort, if possible. We're going to slowly inch away closer and closer. 16 combat width. Um, it's not great. Now, this is not all literally just militia there. And Yeah, I don't want to do that one. We're not going to lose political power here. I don't want to lose it. I mean, if they want to keep attacking, I'm not opposed to that. But at the same time, 
I'm not sure how that's supposed to help anybody here. Yeah, you're not going to be able to win there. Attack here if you can. Yeah, honestly, you guys will be better served if we just took you guys out here. We're going for effort. Good luck. Oh, wait. Go. You ding dongs, go around. <laughs> the AI, man, I swear sometimes it's just so dumb. Yeah, I don't understand why they. Why do they love this area so much? Why do they keep attacking? That doesn't make no sense to me. I'm gonna keep doing this because we can. Alright, wait for the tanks to get up there. They're taking their time. Uh, let's go in here. Germani would be really good to get back. So that's why we're gonna to try to get there first. Uh, that's four divisions, and we're fighting over river. It's not great. We'll have two uh, full front against Germania. I think that'd be good. Yeah. Why are you just continuously attacking Hanspital? I mean, don't get me wrong. I, I don't mind it, but like, they're out of equipment like us, except for motorized, which is fine with us. But whatever. Still, still, they're kill still killing each other too, which is good to see. They lost Leipzig. I just want Germania, man. <coughs> So, you guys are going to come in here, which is great. We're going to open this up a little bit more, so we have a little bit more space to work with first. So we can come down here as well. And I'm not going to say we're going to surround Germania, but we'll, we'll do the best we can. Yeah, kill, kill, kill each other off, guys. Kill each other off. Does anyone else have upgrades here? Um, you got a lot of militia. Ambusher. Oh, max attrition is plus 10. That's pretty good. But that's infantry attack. This is for everybody on defense. Um, so we'll go with defense for every division. Cavalry, expert, we'll go with combined arms, and movement bonus. It's fine for now. You guys haven't really used you too much. Oh, polio vaccine has been declared safe. Good job. Nice. Send in what we have the remaining of the tank divisions here. Germania opening it up just a little bit more for us to do a little uh, spritzy attack. I'm sure they will fight to keep this place under wraps. But we'll see. Come on. Come on. Concentrate industries. Good. Good, 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 good. So we got that stuff done. Let's grab some of this as well. Do we have a single factory to use yet? Mr. Bisco is gone. Come on. We have Germania. We have Germania. Do we have a single factory? God, how do we not have a single god dang factory? Kickstart biochemical stuff. Vehicle weapons, unrestricted warfare, we could do that. I don't want to lose any more war sport though, really. Military police is not bad. Um, motorized stuff. Special forces don't really use that really too much. There's really not much we can really use here. I guess drop tanks, maybe? Ooh, they do definitely don't like us here, do they? Oh, we're going to lose your money, aren't we? Yeah, that's not good. Mmm. Attack here next. You should be able to win this one. God damn, we're pushed back out. <coughs> yeah, we gotta get rid of these guys. If this is all the content for Himmler, that'd be really sucky. Do it anyways. We're actually, well, we're working on getting more political power back, but still. They're still attacking down here. I just do not understand it. Yeah, this Civil War is just not as fun as TNOs. And I know people don't like TNOs, German Civil War, but like this is... This is something else, man. This is totally something else. It's just so staticky. And because I've played all four factions or four sides in the German Civil War and TNO, like, I know how to be successful in each one. And this one, not so much. Stupid tanks, get down there. Don't lose effort. How are they not capitulated? Where is their capital? Come on. You, just sending literally guys with guns against tanks and armor. I love it. Batch production, cool. Um, that's 1960 stuff, which sucks. Chemical stuff? Chemical stuff? Research speed? Yeah, why not? We're in the middle of a civil war, but we can always research more stuff here. Like that. Immediately go in. Uh, 
Go in here too. Good, we got room at least. Seriously, where is our capital? I guess we don't have one now. I apologize for taking so long. This is this is a bit ridiculous. I get that the SS isn't supposed to probably really win, but still. Good. Kill them all off. Good. Just kill off these guys as fast as much as possible right now. Um, let's keep doing it. I mean, it's literally free equipment when we have, especially have no st stability. And we have a weekly change of minus two stability anyway, so. When's the Civil War supposed to end? 56? Faster than what we're doing right now? It feels like we probably we should be done by with it by now, but whatever. Good. And then they should be dead, right? Alright, so now we got their equipment. They didn't have that many SDGs, did they? And they I'm not gonna give anything to the other side. I'm just taking it all. I don't care. I really don't. This is this civil war is not very good. And now uh, they're attacking us, of course. Now it's 2v a uh, 1v1, not 2v1. Yeah, what would be the other two? So this is gonna kinda suck. Um I don't understand why we don't have any factories to use either. That's something I'm really questioning. Why? Consumer goods, 70%. Why is this so flippin' high? Yeah, this needs this just needs rework in my opinion, man. This isn't that much fun. Trying to just bust my head into these guys again and again and again and again and again. With Speer and TNO, you just know how to encircle guys with just concentrate everything that you have in the attacks, which I've done earlier. But my goodness. Take Leipzig. We can take it. I know we can take it. I will not be foolish and just do general attacks. I mean, it doesn't help that I killed off a lot of my tank divisions attacking Switzerland. But at the same time, what else are you supposed to do? Oh, Have peace with the Swiss? Heck no. There you go, nice. Um, yeah, we're gonna go back to Germania. Let's go over here first. You know what? Mmm, I, I wanna encircle them, but still. Why'd they stop attacking? This doesn't make any sense. I'm glad we have a lot of equipment, though, now. It's kind of nice. Maybe not a lot, but a good amount. What happened to the fuel we were getting every day? Ah, oh, planes. Yeah. Go in immediately. We're not playing around for Germania. All of you guys go in. Go in. We are taking Germania, whether they like it or not. You can sacrifice as many men as you like. God, I'd love to do a general attack and just win. Go back in. You're not done yet. Not until we have Germania fully. Now you hold just in case they attack us somewhere else. Good. Leader what, what, why do we have leadership distrust? What do you mean? We took Germania back. If anything, the other side should get some leadership distrust stuff. Not us. So what we're going to do next is go from ooh, hello, here to here. We've got to make some encirclements, man. Widespread mechanization. Um, air. Uh, recon. Get some more recon. Ground support. I love... Oh, infantry. <sighs> yeah, I'll go with the land stuff. Why not? How can you, how can you not win? Seriously, they have literally no tanks there. Literally not a single tank division. <coughs> Force the attack. I'd rather have you die then. If you're not going to win, just die. Don't waste my time. Uh, there you go. Do that too. Look at that. Look how bad this is. Yeah, no. Not great. We can't even win against those types of guys. One of the reasons why I don't like Thousand Week Reich that much. It just doesn't make any sense. These tanks doing a really good job. No, you ding dongs go over there. Come on. 
Come on, get in there. No, no, just die. Please, just die. For the love of God, please just die. There you go, finally, thank God. Um, yeah, this is... This is not great. I'll be honest. If you keep, if you're still watching, thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. It's just this type of civil war. It's just not fun. It's really just a grind. Like I said earlier, in, in TNO, it's, it's 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 more fun. It really is. Playing as Hadrish is really difficult in TNO. Playing as Borman is extremely easy. Goring is pretty easy as well, and Spare is not that difficult. So, but this, this is just a slog fest. But you know, what? I'm gonna end it here. But if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below. Please let me know in the description below if, if there's any way I can get Himmler back. And I'm going to finish up the Civil War off-screen. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.